Previously on Rogers TV, the Kitchener Rangers won eight in a row. That's right, they're one of the hottest teams in the OHL right now. The Rangers are surging their way up the Western Conference standings and sending all teams home pondering what to do next time to try to bring down the boys from East Avenue. Today, the Ottawa 67s are in town to try to put an end to this streak. They currently sit second in the Eastern Conference and would like nothing more than to end the Rangers' charge. It's a cross-conference battle. It's two of the OHL's top teams. It's Forbes Kitchen Rangers Hockey on Rogers TV, and it all starts now. Good afternoon and welcome to the Kitchener Memorial Auditorium. I'm your host, Ryan Colbert. The Ottawa 67s have had a very busy weekend. They started at home on Friday night and they picked up a win. And last night they were in Niagara where they picked up a loss and now their rubber matches against the Rangers here this afternoon. And with their thoughts on this afternoon's game, let's throw it upstairs to Gary Hahn and Andrew Macklin. Thank you very much, Ryan. Battle of the conference contenders this afternoon. Of course, Ottawa trying to stay ahead of Kingston in the east and right here, the Rangers think a win is going to put them in a top spot in the Midwest. Well, let's first take a look at the Eastern Conference. And, of course, the Ottawa 67s in a battle with the Kingston Frontenacs atop the East Division. Both teams playing three games this week. And, of course, Kingston rounding out their weekend later this afternoon at the London Knights. Here this afternoon, the Ottawa 67s trying to keep that slim one-point lead atop the East Division and hold on to second place in the Eastern Conference. Of course, uh, Owen Sound fell to Mississauga last night, so a win by Kitchener this, this afternoon would put them first in the Midwest. Well, talk about a battle that continues to rage on the Kitchener Rangers and the Owen Sound attack going back and forth atop that Midwest division. They're one point back of Owen Sound coming into this afternoon. A win here for the Rangers vaults them up into that top spot in the Midwest division in second place in the Western Conference. And for the Ottawa 67s, we find a 13th round draft pick of the Rangers who's playing very well in our capital. Well, talk about a shrewd pickup for the Ottawa 67s, Shane Prince has found a home atop the top line in Ottawa alongside Ryan Martindale and Tyler Toffoli. Those three players come into this afternoon's action in the top six in the Ontario Hockey League in scoring. So Shane Prince doing a great job fitting in with this Ottawa 67s team. Right. Monaghan against Catanacci. And we're underway. 67s win the opening faceoff. And we've got a fight already. It's Carnival and Lowry throwing the gloves off. And they both go down without much harm done. That took four seconds, and that came at me out of the blue. Well, I would love to know the backstory on this one as Lowry and Carnival wasting no time off the opening faceoff. Throwing a few punches. Unfortunately for both men, couldn't get much in as they seem to dance a little bit before throwing a few and then losing their balance. So a quick fight here to open this one. At least it engaged the crowd. The crowd here already buzzing at the Kitchener Memorial Auditorium. In after, Crescenzi and Reader. Good job by the Ottawa D. Martindale will bring it out. Martindale right down the middle. They ruled that that was onside. Slap shot by Tafoli over the glove of Morrison. What a shot by Tafoli down that right side. His 21st goal of the year. Tyler Toffoli continues his stellar early season play as a league leader in goals, notches another one, takes the feed from Brian Martindale, slaps that one high, puts it past Mike Morrison, and the Ottawa 67s have the early one to nothing lead here, just 320 into the first period. Finally, second effort down the wing, and it's a two on one for Ottawa. 67s in, pass across, Smith with the shot and scores! Dalton Smith makes it 2 0 on the two on one. You can see the feed comes up ice. Two on one breaks out, and it's Dalton Smith who's able to find some room. Five hole for the Ottawa 67s, and it is the 67s who go up 2 0 here at the odd. Welcome back to the Kitchener Memorial Auditorium. It is a 2 0 lead for the Ottawa 67s, and joining us from the 67s, Shane Prince. Shane, uh, welcome back to the odd. Uh, I guess your only trip back here in the regular season. Let's talk about your role on the 67s organization. You made the trade uh, last year. You were traded up there. What uh, type of player do the coaches want you to be for the 67s? Uh, they definitely given me the opportunity this year to uh, to be a goal scorer and to produce goals. And uh, 
you know, I think me, uh, Martindale, and Toffoli have been doing that so far. And yeah, you just said Martindale and Toffoli, your line mates. What's what's the, what is it about this chemistry that is working so well for you three? Uh, I think we all play the same type of game. Uh, you know, we see the time and space very well, and uh, we always know where each other are on the ice. And we we always find each other for goals. So it, you know, it's it's great playing with them. Now the 67s are giving the Rangers a lot of hard times uh, trying to get into your end here. Uh, you're not really giving them a chance to set up. Uh, what was the plan uh, in order to essentially combat this high-powered offense? Uh, well, we know Kitchener has great offense and a, and a great power play. So, uh, you know, we're trying to be aggressive uh, here on, on the PK. We had three on that period. So I think we're doing a great job of being aggressive and shutting them down. And, I mean, third game in two and a half days, it doesn't seem like the 67s are out of gas. The next 40 minutes, how critical will it be to stay on top of these guys? Uh, it's huge. Uh, you know, a lead against the, this team is, is never good enough, and we know they have a lot of offense, and they can come back at any time and score some goals. So we got to keep the pressure on and, uh, you know, stay aggressive on the PK, and we'll be fine. Well, thank you very much for this. Best of luck in the next 40. Thank you. There's still more to come. We will be joined Landry by... Star. Inside the zone to Catanacci. Catanacci for Lackison scores! And everybody on that line is going to get a point. Agnesson gets the goal. He's going to head for Catanacci. Two on one. Catanacci with Landeskog. The pass to Landeskog. Oh! Gabriel Landeskog. And again, everybody on that line is going to get a point. And it's 2-2. Two -two. In the first period, it was Sean Monahan and Dalton Smith. In the second period, it's Gabriel Landeskog and Michael Katnachi. There's the feed from Jason Axon. Springs Katnachi and Landeskog on the two-on-one. Gabriel Landeskog makes no mistake. That's Landeskog's 18th. Rangers break three abreast out of their own zone to center. Down the right side is Reeder. Reeder with a pass, looking for tip-off, crossing in front. Zone to center by the 67th, now into Kitchener territory. Into the corner. Gibbons is down low. They score! Bit of a broken play on that one as that pass sent back to Toffoli. Good little play here by Ottawa. A bit of a breakdown leads to this goal. The go-ahead goal for the Ottawa 67s. See that top line working so well together. Martindale's feed goes back to Toffoli. And makes a couple of deflections before going into that net. It looked like it might have hit Murphy or Morrison on that one. I thought it hit the skate of Shane Prince as he crossed in front of the net. Prince from Toffoli, I believe. Over the head of Lindsay, off the skate, and back in from Randall. Here's Nesbitt, trying to feed it through, they score! What a great feat through by Nesbitt, and it's all of a sudden 4-2 Ottawa. Two goals in quick succession for the 67. It's a great play here by the captain, Thomas Nesbitt, that makes this goal happen. There's Nesbitt, digs the puck out, and a great shot. Lindsay did not have a lot of room to work with there. Find some open space on Mike Morrison. The Ottawa 67s take a 4-2 lead. Oh, right. Reader. To Jasper, Jasper's shot, back to Reeder, he scores! Tobias Reeder, and Jasper joins the rush and gets to the stick, and the Rangers are back in it, down by one. Sends it around the boards, ends up behind to Katanachi, Katanachi right up front, just scores! It's Landeskog from Katanachi, and Atkinson should get an assist as well, and it's 4-4. Four -four. Landeskog does the work to begin. Cody Soule with a smart play from the point. And then the three forwards take over Atkinson, Katnachi, and Landeskog as Katnachi comes out from behind the net. Gets to Landeskog who smacks that one home behind Mrazek. And it's a 4-4 hockey game with 3.44 left to go. Our first shootout on home ice this season. Do you go with the obvious list of characters? I mean, if you're looking at Ottawa, you figure Toffoli's going to shoot, Martindale's going to shoot. I think that whole line, Prince is going to shoot as well. well I, I think you can't really can't go wrong with anybody on the first two lines for either one of these teams. As you know, you even look to the second line, the Ottawa 67s, Lindsay, Grayovac, and Nesbitt. 
Three other solid guys here. You've got Dalton Smith, who's already registered a goal here tonight, but you're right, for the Kitchener Rangers, do you look to the top line, or do you look to a guy like Reeder, who had the 4-3 goal in this game? Tip-off has been hot as of late. Darnia this coming Friday at 7.30, but now we're ready for the shootout to decide the second point in this match. And it's going to be Catanacci who will shoot first for head coach Steve Spott. Catanacci, 5'7", from Woodbridge. And pound for pound, one of the most entertaining players in this league. Catanacci in on Morazic, backhander, and didn't get much on that. Looks like that might have rolled off the stick. See Catanacci yet. Rolled off his backhand, wasn't able to get a solid shot off. And it's going to be former Ranger Shane Prince getting the first opportunity for the 67s. Listed as 5'11 from Spencerport, New York. Prince goes wide right, down the middle now. Shot scores over the right leg of Morrison, and Prince gets the first goal for the 67s. Great move by Shane Prince on Mike Morrison. Great delay, move to his left from his right. And a great little move to give Ottawa the first goal. Now it's the league scoring leader, Jason Atkinson, in on goal. Looking to shoot, Razik took away the five hole at the last second. And now the Ottawa 67s are going to send Tyler Toffoli to the ice to try to ice this one for the 67s. And if you saw his 21st goal of the season back at 320 the first period, this kid can fire the puck to Foley. And on goal, scores again. So Prince and to Foley get it done in the shootout. And the Ottawa 67s have escaped the Kitchener Memorial Auditorium with the 5-4 shootout win. More importantly for Rangers fans, the eight-game winning streak has been snapped. A lot of positives come out of this, though, I think. Down 2-0, they fought back. That